All right, guys, don't mind a mess on this old pig. She's slow coming. A lot of wiring in the make still, wiring all of it. So, anyway, here is my uh, first time using the screen. I'm going to intend to start the car, so I'm going to open the garage a little bit. All right, anyway, um, I got power going to it and all that. Here's all my horrible mess of wiring. There's the ECU. This little keyboard I got with it. This is Digital Dash EFI. Um, pretty damn easy, actually. It's a little bigger than I needed, so I'm gonna probably have to make my own mount for it and everything. Um, it's essentially just a computer. Uh, that's, you know, the power connector. That blue is an alternative um, ignition switch, I guess, so you can turn the screen on without having to turn the ECU on. Um, then that's the GPS antenna, that little coax looking antenna, little job there. Over here you'll see it's got four USB ports and a network port. It has Wi-Fi. You can hook it to your Ethernet. It's just a Linux based computer. It's a Raspberry Pi computer. Um, the cable itself is the communication to the ECU down there somewhere. And the other one back in there is a dongle that I use for that keyboard. So I can use it wirelessly. It just charges with a USB in the house or whatever you got. Um, then I'll have one more USB port that I'll use for the GPS dongle. The Q Stars is what I believe it's called. That's on the way. So um, that'll give me all my speed and everything. Make this old car without speed sensors um, have an accurate speedometer since I don't have a dash anymore or cable system or any of that. Uh, I may get a, I'd like to get a remote shifter, one of the David Levian, Levian, however you say it. Um, they're out of Wichita, just 40 minutes away from me. Hell of a guys. Um, great resource of information for these cars. Anyway, um, get a remote shifter for over here. And maybe I can clean some of that up and I might put put switches in it so I can actually see what gear I'm in and get more information from this thing. But anyway, let's give it a shot. There we go. Kicked on that way. started the car yet today as you can see it's 52 degree engine temp we got kind of hard to see there about 700 rpms got my oil pressure this is not a touch screen either guys you have to use have to use this guy to make it work um, it's set up to go full screen on startup you can actually if you look here you can kind of get out of the full screen if you want keyboard here hit escape it's like you would on your regular one anyway there's that I'm gonna go back to the full screen mode here all right that took a little longer than I thought anyway um, got my fuel fuel pump on indicator my battery voltage I actually don't have the alternator hooked up I'm going to control the alternator with the mega squirt as well for load shedding and it actually there's a pretty significant draw um, from the alternator it's not currently working right now my coolant fan turns on that'll kick on you can kind of see my water temperature i got this gauge set up it actually doesn't register till 60. it's also why i put the number out there i really like to have the numbers as well as the analog um, air temperature it's funny you watch that spike whenever the cooling fan comes on blows that temperature air across that sensor because i don't actually have an intake plenum set up on the throttle bodies you can see my gauge here is blue it's pretty hard to see maybe i zoom in on it a little bit my gauge is blue i have it set up to be blue until oh it's 150 about when the warm-up enrichment that the computer does is done working then that goes to green for operating and it goes to red when it's too hot 
Um, I don't have any of that on the air temp. My fuel level, I've still got to get it actually wired up. Actually, it's, it think that's working. Yeah, that's actually working. I did that a little bit ago. Um, that's about right, so that's, that's awesome. Yeah, and you can tune on the fly with this thing. You can data log. I'm gonna set up a button that lets me, I just hit it and it'll data log every time I want. Um, I'm just bend a piece of aluminum. You can kind of see that piece of black aluminum back there behind the hood. I'm gonna make that my dash. I got some race car buddies gonna help me out with that. So anyway, just a quick update on that guys. I will uh, keep you posted. Thanks for watching the four of you that do.